If I ask you how much more radiation does penetrate your body today compared to like 10 years ago, is it twice as much, three times as much? No, it's a quintillion times more. That's a one with 18 zeros. In France, they had some of the first adopters of Wi-Fi. Now they're recognizing that the Wi-Fi is potentially harmful to school children, so they're getting rid of it in elementary schools. Could where you carry your cell phone make you sick? Radio frequency emissions from the school's strong wireless network has triggered headaches, nosebleeds, and nausea. Smart meters are replacing the analog meters on your home. Some say such meters are making them sick. Nobody has taken into account the cumulative radiation that we are all getting, especially children. Had there been free market testing, cell phones never would have made it into the marketplace. The, the manufacturers actually tell people in the instruction manual, which I, I never read, not to put the cell phone against your ear. Radio frequency radiation are in fact cancer causing and are perhaps cause of neurological diseases and cognitive problems and developmental problems in children. The wireless industry spends $100 million a year lobbying the Congress. So it's really hard to go up against the power of this industry, even when you have the facts on your side. We urgently need more research. We have almost no US funded research in this area. Scientists decided it was time to counter the industry claims that there is no evidence. Good evening, the World Health Organization today says cell phones are possibly carcinogenic. It puts it in the company of several other kinds of things like lead, as well as engine exhaust and chloroform. These are all things that immediately will reduce your exposure. Use a wired earpiece. Concentrate on speakerphone. A wired computer classroom will not expose your child to radio frequency radiation. I do have a certain sense of optimism that eventually the right thing will happen, like it did with tobacco, like it did with asbestos. Free to watch on YouTube. Everyone, I'm from your telephone company. The telephone, the greatest advancement in human communication since the printing press. Its proliferation throughout society spurred innovation, created jobs, helped grow the economy, and brought people closer together. Can you bring me my chapstick? But it wasn't without its flaws. You usually had to be stuck in one place in order to use one. Give us that back! No! <laughs> Which could be frustrating. If only you could go wherever you wanted while talking on the phone. Those who thought that getting a car phone wasn't for them weren't keeping up with the booming industry of cellular radio telephone. Wireless technology and devices have forever changed how we communicate with family and close friends. In the U.S., the wireless industry is responsible for 3.8 million jobs and generates over 146.2 billion annually. In the United States alone, there are over 200 million cell phones in use. Globally, this figure stands at 4.77 billion and is expected to reach 6.1 billion by 2020. Prior to 1984, wireless technology was only used in, in the military. And in 1984 was the first move to take wireless technology into the consumer environment. Cell phones at the time, they were excluded from any pre-market testing. So they came onto the market without any safety testing. check it out. Maybe we can have a discussion about it. You have a great day, everyone.